What's going on, Jabronis? And welcome to another episode of Jabronis Sports. Yeah. I paused for a second there because it, I realized it wasn't a preview of anything. We were, we, were, we were done previewing things, and I was like, yeah. oh my god. Now not... we're analyzing yeah, stuff. I was like, finally. wow, this is weird because we're doing our first like just episode um, mm-hmm. in a long time. So uh, we, we enjoyed our, our NBA and NFL preview episodes, but it's, it's nice to just kind of get to be reactionary to something that's actually happened rather than discussing things that are going to happen in the future. Exactly. We had, like, what, six weeks of Yeah, previews? just, like, running out the clock. And you know what? We did it. And our time to shine is now. We so, made it through the summer without talking baseball. Congratulations. And if you made it with us through the summer without talking baseball, we'd like to welcome you to Jabroni Sports. Hey. I am your host, AJ Firstenau. You can find me on most forms of social media at A-J-F-U-E-R-S-T-E-N-A-U. I'm at It's Your Boy Gonzo, and you can find me on M-I-L-B Store online. M like is M I L B minor league baseball dude a lot, a lot of good hats dude, dude. Of, have good, you seen good, the minor league lot of, hats a lot of good hats yeah oh, come on hats. There's heat they're come wow. on most cool hats are minor league baseball team because then you know what people are like wait who's that yeah and then they have, yeah I'm sorry it's the Lehigh River Hawks I guess you didn't know <laughs> yeah. I am that guy. You need to get kingfish hats. Those are the best. I mean, I mean, I, I have very a, limited. I have, a, I have a kingfish hat, and, and I have one sweet. as well. But you also have a Wisconsin Rapids Rafters hat. Uh, Raptor, Rapid Rafters. Rapids Rafters. <laughs> Rapid Rafters. <laughs> Evidently, one of the best teams in the Northwoods League this year. However, not uh, when we saw them. The one time that we saw them, they were down ten to nothing in the third inning. Ooh, um, so it was a tough. I mean, you hate to see it. With you really the, the holy baseball we've done all year, we did it in a past episode. Was Northwoods we League talked, <laughs> breakdown? North, North, <laughs> Northwoods League. <laughs> Northwoods League is kind Dude. of on brand for us. They played the played the uh, the Nina. No, not no. Nina. They played the uh, Fond du Lac River Spiders. The Fondy. The Fondy. The Fond, as their jersey the said. The Fondy River Spiders. <laughs> oh, damn River Spiders. We, we should just be a, no Doc Spiders. Doc Spiders. Doc Spiders. Doc Spiders. <laughs> My bad. We should just be a Northwoods League podcast. That's, 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 Nobody else is doing it's it. Part of the brand. It's not. But I'm not gonna because it's not. It's yeah. really yeah. hard to do. There's only just two months Northwoods a year. League. <laughs> yeah, and we would we just do like. 15 minute podcast. In North- <laughs> like, actually, nobody's going to listen no, to it. So, no, yeah. it's not like anybody listens to us anyway. You, you can barely get the, the scouting the- online. You're just going off stats. We got to go to games and break them down. Yeah. They're all over. <laughs> what do you do in the off season? That's like ten months long. We break down the the, 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 the that was. Yeah. We, 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 we can't, all- you can't preview because it's all college guys. So we just would watch college baseball. Yeah, yeah. Like, of we course. We, we don't, we're not big on pro baseball no. around here. But you give us a solid Vanderbilt versus Florida game. And Ooh, we will those are two that. juggernauts. Oh, those are two powerhouses. Before we get any further off topic, let's finish finish introducing the rest of the panel tonight. Joining us, hosting as always, at G Baby Lafleur. Just catch me on Twitter. Don't follow me anywhere else. And for those of you that had a bet on it, yes, we do have a guest joining us this evening, as he did last week from GB Pack TV. The one, the only Trey Montuano. At Trey oh, 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 wow! <laughs> what an entrance! What an entrance! We Come actually have him in studio, believe it or not. I mean, so he owes us what? He owes us five push-ups. Now, right? Yeah, you got to give us five At push-ups. Yeah, that's it. You got to give us five, five push-ups. push-ups. Watch GB you, Pack you TV. You five. You got to fire off five push-ups. I don't push-ups, think I do three. <laughs> oh, come on, man! You got to fire off five. As I, I, I couldn't even get done introducing you, and the phone uh, you, uh, you had uh, already Hollywooded us. Oh, That's, you're gonna do it right now. <laughs> He's gonna do it right now. The one we week we're not doing video. Here you got to go. do it. You got to do it. Here we go. We got one, two, three. Lower your ass. It's too far up. Four. Oh, we're we're fine. We got this. Finish strong. Five. five. Uh, five. Let's go. Let's go. Out away. Hey, high five. Great job. You're it's right. Not even, Good work. It's not even being video. Yeah, this is the one. This, I mean, this the, one, the we, one episode the we're one not having we don't do a video <laughs> stream. I mean, we have we have. We have sports going. I mean, on, we only did it twice. It's basically. So. It's basically. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We've done like twelve other. Ep- no, like Follow twenty at, other episodes at GB Pack TV. There you go. Or at Trey Montuano and watch what are, uh, what are you M A N T U A N O. What are uh, What are you doing on the uh, GB Pack TV channel, Trey? For those uh, who might be just interested? Uh, blowing up the Packers. Blowing them up. <laughs> blowing up the Packers. Yeah. So if you want to follow him. Follow him on Google at 
Gmail. What is, what is your channel? Google. On YouTube. Google TV Pack TV. How are you so good but so bad with technology? Johnny, you want him to follow on your Google Plus? On YouTube. Johnny TV. I'm sure if you Googled it, you would find it. Google TV. find it. I also love that the dynamic continues of every time Johnny makes a mistake, it's a roast. Anytime. If Johnny dares to have a slip of the tongue, it's a roast. It's GB Pack TV. Okay. There you go. Excellent. And yeah, as I just a, thought Johnny meant he wanted him on the Google Plus. <laughs> Johnny's still Johnny still waiting. For, <laughs> still waiting for that <laughs> platform where, to take off. He thought the Scorsese film was coming out earlier. Follow him on Google. What do you mean? <laughs> you just, yeah, I'm sure you'd find it if you searched on Google. Per, I'm pretty sure <laughs> you probably you, will. Exactly. Yeah. So if you, who's the dubby? If you Google someone <laughs> yeah, I mean, on my fo- on your phone, it, it'll say like there'll be a box for follow. All right. What are you talking? about? Perfect. All right. All right. Yeah. What are we doing? What are yeah, we talking, what are we talking about? Let's get. You know what? We're talking. We're not talking about practice. We're talking. Talking about the game. Trey's really groping his mic over there. <laughs> uh, ooh, he's really, you could say he's manhandling that microphone. <laughs> Let's which, take a bunch of bowl. Which, brings me, which brings me to the Packers defense. Ooh. Once again, a manhandling performance. Oh, man. From out, let me, let's go ahead and I'm just going to remind you guys it's only week two, but I'm going to toot my own horn. The only person on the panel to pick the Packers as the division winner. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Talk, mm. talk me off the ledge. Why, why aren't the Packers going to win this division, you guys? The uh, best what happened at offense for the rest of the game? <laughs> I saw the first two touchdowns, and I said this one's over. <laughs> is that, uh, and is then that, I went is to work. The, is that Mr. Uh, meatball Hot Take over Yeah, there? that's Mr. Who, meatball is that a Hot Take. Is that a character? Where do I where the rest of the points at? <laughs> why don't they? Uh, I don't like the way LaFleur is calling <laughs> the plays there. <laughs> people, what is people, he, French? I really, social media, was, it was fascinating think, to see. I don't it. think it was LaFleur's problem. No, to be honest, no. I, I'm just saying. I saw a lot of social media turning on the floor as the game went on. No. All Packer I turned fans, on him before the season. Every just Packer for the fan argues every call. Oh, why don't we pass it there? It's like second and one. Yeah, like I don't know. I, I mean, that's to... every fan base though. You've yeah. listened to a Bears Monday. It's true. The, pa- <laughs> the Packers fan base is just particularly vocal. Also, given where we live, it makes probably because we live in Wisconsin. That's why we hear more Packers. Yeah, but the Packers are one, like it's it's a fan base that's like two and zero, oh, and they still feel like hard done. Like they're not like it's like like. I don't know. Like Aaron Rodgers is supposed to throw four touchdowns every game, or he wasn't good enough. Yeah. Like that to yeah. me, that feels like the mentality a lot of times, and like it's just mm. it's 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 really unfair. Um, but I yeah, I, I still think I think the Packers are the best team in this division. What did Chicago show you over the weekend? Yeah. They showed me that they have an atrocious offense. Their offense, the yeah, worst their offense in the league, has regressed dramatically. Well, he can had a gimmick all, offense. Can we all agree that Trubisky is not good? He's not. not he's, he's not. not, he's not I told you. I, 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 I don't know. No, no, no. I didn't watch the game, so I'll be I, fair. I, uh, well, he got to watch it. Like I said. He's not good. No, he's not even Alex Smith good. He is nope. not even close to as good as Alex Smith oh, no. was. But Alex Smith is pretty damn good. Uh, I mean, he's a game manager. Yeah, I would say Alex, Alex Smith, Smith is Alex better Smith than is like, a game manager. He's one of the pinnacle game uh, managers. Okay. Yeah. He's one of like the best game managers. Of that style of quarterback, Alex Smith is but one of the best But when you say ones. game manager... I know, there's a connotation. There's, uh, like, but this what, guy's not very good. But Alex Smith was really exactly, good. Exactly, but that it, it can be... It doesn't... I mean, it's taken derogatively, but it shouldn't be. Because you can, if you are a good game manager, you can win a Super Bowl. Yeah, that for quarterback, sure. you can win a championship with a good game manager. Because look they, at Trent Dilfer, like exactly, and he wasn't even that good of a game manager. He was, no, he was, a, no, he was just he was a, a guy. Mediocre he was game the definition manager. of just yep. a guy. But like that type of a quarterback can absolutely win you a Super Bowl. He was right, a right now, guy just Mitch Trubisky record. isn't the, He's not that. Right now, they have to win in spite of their quarterback. Yeah. And that's yep. not a recipe for success come the playoffs. He can't well, manage I don't a care, game. I don't, your well, defense might get you there. But Mitch has to be able to win a game for you in December. Yep. Why can't. have they gotten so far away from the run game? Because <sighs> yeah. Be- because they what have a coach, you drafted right? a guy super high and no, you have and because you have, they have a coach that doesn't want to do yeah, that. He's got his gimmick and plays. It, it's as simple as that. But then why do you have Tyree Cohen and why did you draft a running back? Like I don't understand. <sighs> that was before him. Well, well, then get rid of him. You got rid of Jordan Howard. Like you could trade they should have, Cohen. They should have uh, kept Jordan Howard just it for like no between the tackles run plays. Yeah, why did, why? It, Jordan Howard's better than Mike Davis. Yeah. Why? Like, is, oh why? my God, we drafted uh, Montgomery, and now we're going to be super elite. No, it it, it doesn't yeah. work like a, that. A third round running back isn't putting you over the top in a, no. in a draft where you didn't have a first or a second. Granted, it was for Khalil Mack. The Bears make that trade ten out of ten times and live with it. But you didn't improve that much this offseason. You really oh. didn't. And I think there was a lot of things, because people have discussed this. Last year, the Bears were a particularly lucky turnover team. Yep. That Those things tend to even out from year to year. 
that's not sustainable. Like, their offense was extremely efficient in red yeah. zone situations yeah. to, like, an unusual extent. So some of those numbers that would just regress anyways, I think they're experiencing it even worse because of the, like, poor play of Trubisky. But this was they were always going to come back to earth this year. And you have a full year of tape on Nagy's offense yep. that people could look at too. So I just there was a lot of things going into the season that made me think the Bears aren't going to make the playoffs, which is why I said and they a, wouldn't. a huge thing last year was they stayed healthy throughout the entire yes. year. That's yes. not no, going to happen that's, again. Yep. No, you're right. That's I, that's a great point. That's probably the other biggest thing that was a factor for them. They were extremely by NFL standards. They were extremely healthy last season. Oh yeah. There's, I, Half the league has more guys on IR already than the Bears had all of last year. Plus, like, they lost Amos, who I think is better than Clinton Dix. I, I, I don't I mean, think, obviously. Yeah, 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 there's no debate. I mean, how many Bears fans you catch out there that, that are, like, super excited about Clinton Dix? Like, mm. more than there should be. That is nothing yeah, more, to get excited yeah, about. Yeah, more, right more than there should be. I, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. You know what about. I'm talking about? I've heard uh, that. No, I know those fans. I know those Bears fans that were like, oh, we got ha ha. And I was like, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Ah has been a bum for like three years now. Yep, he's a ball hawk that doesn't make plays, and he's not really great in like coverage or tackling. So no. have fun. Like I just, I just am not ready to write the book on Mitchell Trubisky yet. I think Trubisky. Yes, is a bum. you were, you were of the more moderate viewpoint. The, the thing so. about you're, I don't trust. I don't think he has good wide receivers. I don't care what people no, tell the, me. No, the, I think Allen Robinson is good you, enough. You'll be, you, you're lucky if Trubisky goes to his second it. read. He's looking at one guy, yep, that's true. and it takes him five seconds Who to get to his second read. At? <laughs> Everybody on the field, if one of them's covered, I, I think Taylor Gabriel's a good enough receiver. So, how many times have you seen a quarterback? Through one and a half years that haven't been able to find a receiver. No, how many open receivers do you see when you're watching I've the Bears that Trubisky that. can't see? Trubisky I've has so many open wide receivers, but he yeah. doesn't. But he's not like he's not making progression reads though. See, this like, that's is, not what he's doing. And I, I, like the thing is, I don't know how much of that is the offense and how much of that is just Mitch's limitations as a quarterback, like the RPO stuff. I don't know, like what percentage. I don't of think the, he's the right guy to be doing RPO stuff. I don't think you want it. It doesn't, oh, doesn't, no. it doesn't make he sense. He has to be though. Why? <sighs> That's his game. Is that's it? all he's got. The legs. He's not good at it. Like, yeah, but his, that's already putting more reads on him. That's all he's got. First, that's, first you have to read the not, linebacker. It's not sustainable. No, no, not. absolutely not. But for, for, I mean, for, for a young co- for a young quarterback, you have to get him there and get easy reads. First read, not there. Second read, not there. Third read. He's he got. Can't do that. Yeah, he's got wide he receivers. Yeah, yeah. he's got receivers even, running behind him and down the field and all even this. Even before that, Johnny, you have to just get him easy completions. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I'm him, saying. But I'm saying just get him like a dunk the pass. Like don't Mitch even have. He locks into that easy easy completion, and then after that, it's nothing. And the, well, the defense you got to grow his confidence. Huh? You got to grow his confidence. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, got to give him well, simpler. Yeah. You got to give him simpler plays. And you should not have gotten rid of Jordan Howard with this defense. Just Mitch, don't turn the ball I don't want over to sound and you're mean, fine. But I don't know if Mitch Trubisky is smart enough to run this offense. You can't That's what I'm kind of saying. That's that. what I'm basically you getting at. You can't cater yourself to an offense like that. You your offense should out. cater around your quarterback, though. If he's a second year guy that you think is your future, you should kind of tailor your offense. I'm not saying your entire playbook. But you don't think the Panthers, when they had Cam Newton, were like, we're going to you know, change things up. But, like, you have to tailor your offense to the stars that you have. And if Mitchell Trubisky's apparently, like, it's hard to get a quarterback in this league. He's going to be locked up for a while. Why wouldn't your offense reflect more of his skill set rather than trying to fit a square peg in a round hole and then be like, well, he sucks. And then try to find another quarterback. <laughs> that's, a really, that's, a, that's a really good point. That's a good like, point. I'm just saying they need to – they need to. Um, in my opinion, they should simple it down because he can only go through one, two reads. Give him easier pass looks. I agree. You, you know what I was thinking about with him? You can't like, do that. No, I like know. I was thinking, yeah, like, you can. You was, can lower. You, can. you lower your. Who has uh, been successful doing that? Every quarterback. What are you talking about? Every quarterback has a where they line up have like simple reads and that kind of run the ball up the middle, which the Bears don't do, and then get the linebackers to uh, commit. What get people in the box. Has gone far doing that. Going far, doing Playoffs, what? Playoffs, Super Bowl. Doing what? Dink a dunk? Making two reads? Nobody. That's what, I mean. That's how you start. Thank that's you. How, I'm trying to say that's you how you, start you have like to that. Have a, he can't get to three reads right now. I'm no, saying no, no. start he, him with two reads. Of course you have the third read there. I'm not saying you don't put a third, fourth read out there. Maybe even Ed Reed. <laughs> Maybe even Ed, You put Ed Reed out Jordan, there. Jordan Reed is questionable. I'm I don't saying know if you guys, he's hurt. He's you, got Jordan, a concussion. Jordan Reed's got to, oh, come on. Man. You, you got to give him simpler reads. <laughs> 
you got to give him simpler reads because he's he, he just can't he just can't do it. Yeah. What what's your point, yeah. Trey? I'm just saying, like, if you're going through two reads, like a short receiver, two times. No, I'm saying you obviously give more reads, but you make the first two the simplest. Simple that's reads. That's not going to work. In the NFL, that's not going to work. I mean, you obviously have more reads. That's what every right, quarterback's going to do. I, can I, I'm, as host, I'm jumping in. This is over. I'm ending this debate. All right, I'm sorry. Thanks, AJ. Uh, no problem. So, what I was going to say was about Mitchell Trubisky, the irony uh, when looking at a young quarterback who is breaking out in a big way right now was him versus Lamar Jackson. Um Mitchell Trubisky is a lot of things that Lamar Jackson was projected to be. Like, he's not a great thrower. He only makes one read. He does this, he does that. And, like, Lamar Jackson looks like a complete quarterback. Lamar Jackson looks like, like Michael Vick Jr. right now. But at now. the end of last season, everyone was like, ah, oh, Lamar can't throw. Yep. And at the end of last season, everyone was like, oh, Mitch Trubisky is pretty good. <laughs> yep. Like, so it's just recency biased. But, like, it's a pretty big... I know, like, but I want to see a bigger sample size. I agree. I, I think that's the more measured approach, which I'm disappointed in. You, have, you haven't had a single hot take. Everything you said... I got a, I got a list I'm doing later that's okay. got a hot I was like, everything you said has been totally reasonable. Like, I can't, I can't really argue that hard with any of it. Like... There's there's good points there's for sure good points to be made there but just like yeah it's interesting because Lamar Jackson like the, the you know the derogative like oh he's a running back that whole thing like yeah he, I mean the running backs the running backs doing a pretty damn good job right I now. I mean he's got maybe a top ten wide receiver on his team so I mean oh Marquise, maybe, Marquise Brown's maybe breakout. on my list two maybe. two weeks in two weeks <laughs> in Hollywood Brown looks like the real deal he looks like the real deal I fucking called it yeah. on this podcast that's true. You were you were There's one record of, of it somewhere. You were one of the first Hollywood Brown people that I know. You yeah. got to throw it to somebody, right? Yep. Uh, and he uh, he's going to get uh, behind defenses. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah. I was to say he's open quite a bit. No other receivers. No, not really. Uh, they don't really need. They have they have a couple good tight ends though. Young uh, tight ends. Mark, Mark Andrews. Andrews. Yeah, Mark Andrews yeah. has been phenomenal through two games for them. Um, Don't they got the guy with three X's in his name, Max something? No, he's not there. Max Williams. Oh, Max, man. Max, <laughs> Max with two X's, Williams. No, he's not. Dang. Uh, dang. He's, I, I, he just, man, I saw him playing the other day. I cannot, he's still in the league. All right, good. But I do not know. We, we, if my brother was here, we'd, we'd, we'd have him on it. But uh, <laughs> Can I say Baltimore is probably a fraud? What? Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. Hmm. Why do you think they're a fraud? What do you mean by that? Because I think they're winning the North for sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what, they're just going to like taper off in the playoffs? Who's good in the North, though? That's what I'm saying, but like they're the best team in the North. Yeah, they're going to get to the playoffs. Have a, they'll, yeah. they'll have a home playoff they get game. To the playoffs, they're gonna they could win wrecked. a game in the playoffs. I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender, but I think they could make the divisional round. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I yeah, like, they're not a Super Bowl contender, they, but that's but they have a second year quarterback. I don't need like, to me. That's not a fraud. Like I, can't, I, I wouldn't view like Lamar Jackson as a second okay. year quarterback going to like the divisional round and being like, "Fucking told you." <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll be like, what do you mean? That's a good year. Like, hold on, he's yeah, twenty three. I, mean, I just don't feel like they have a whole lot besides Lamar and uh, yeah. There's, a good time, there's defense, time for that maybe. though. Their defense pretty good. Yeah, their defense is yeah, still pretty good. Yeah, defense is good, and like they can grow the offense. Like I think I think they have like reasons for optimism. I think Miles Boykin could be a solid receiver for them. Uh, I think their run game is. I, I like Justice Hill a lot. Who's bringing it? Um, it's Johnny. Mine. It's got to be Johnny. 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 Come on, man. Fucking Boba Fett over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's two, two, two seconds. I, I don't know about Baltimore, man. Uh, I you, think they're going to be, what do we predict, 9-7, and 10-6? I and said 10-6. I don't sure. remember. 10-6. You, you have to go back and look. Yeah. That's who we thought. They are yeah. who we thought they were. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody the thought they were going to be better than that. You, what? You, I just I think they're better so far than I thought they were going to be, but I don't know if this continues. But one of them was against the Dolphins, which I feel like you can't count. Why? Like Baltimore? they're barely an NFL team. They sound like a bird <laughs> flying around. <laughs> can can they? A- any game like if, if there's a tiebreaker this year, if two teams have the same record, the first tiebreaker should be was one of your wins against the Dolphins. <laughs> and if, that and, doesn't and count. if it's no, then you get, you get the new win. Even the Patriots beat them. Like, yeah, but that's the exactly. Patriots. That's why you have to finish a that's, game ahead. Baltimore. It shouldn't uh, count. I'm it sorry. shouldn't count. It should Miami be, is terrible. It should be the first, should be the first the tiebreaker. They're, they're, not, night, they're yeah. a college team. You're not even playing a team in the same know, league. Yeah. Can you, you just the tiebreaker should be how many points you beat the Dolphins by. If you're in the same division, that's two. That's two against you, yeah. Hey, can they just deal with it? Can they just play the Gators? Uh, Florida? Yeah. They're not even the best college team. You don't want to play Bama. 
Okay, okay let's, let's not do it. Yeah, let's don't do the college yeah. pro team if you're thing. Gonna, if you're going to do the do tired no. trope, don't do at it. least do the right tired trope, okay? No, no, I was just saying because they're also in, aren't they in Miami? Uh, the, oh, Florida the, is the in Gators. Oh, the U. Yeah, I'd be Miami. Yeah. Miami, yeah, Miami is the college play the in Miami. <laughs> Yeah. No, they're not. No. Don't do the cup. That, that would be a comparison. No, that would be a hundred to what, zero. Hold on. What is going on in Miami though? Everyone wants out. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> your team is terrible. Uh, you're basically you're like risking dying all the time because people around you are wildly incompetent. So yeah. I want out. I want out of Miami too, and I'm not even on the team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be there anymore, man. <laughs> uh, it's apparently all over Florida because Jalen Ramsey demanded a trade today as well. What? Uh, Jalen Ramsey had an yeah. incident with Doug Marone on the sideline of their game on Sunday and demanded a trade from the team later. Uh, so Jacksonville's asking price is said to be at least one first round pick, but they are looking for more. That I don't seems see. Fair. It. I mean, yeah, but like it doesn't feel like anyone would really. Like, the, the, where's, your, where's your leverage here, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't understand how trades work in the NFL, because sometimes I'm like, oh, that seemed fair. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, <laughs> NFL like trades Jordan, are... Like so... Jordan Howard for a sixth-round pick? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Jordan what Howard's pretty that? good. He's and... been ass, though. Yeah. I mean, that worked out good for the Bears. So far. I, I think Jordan it's Howard... It's two will... games in. Yeah. I'm, I'm not ready to... I, I we come on we can't fall into the two games in the season's over let's that's what we do we're, uh, a, we're a sorry. sports podcast sorry we give in I mean it's yeah it, it, you have to take the long term view a little bit but if you believe that these teams are what they are then I, you kind of you kind of cherry pick I guess yeah I guess Every, everyone at this point is sort of next picky. week I'm going to be arguing the other side like right. if the Browns lost tonight is it over yeah it's over if the Browns lost to the Jets that's your Super Bowl What's this pick. For? Yeah, you had the Browns. You had the Browns in a conference championship game. Yeah, they got it. Trey's done. Trey's got to go check the score. Thanks for being on the podcast. <laughs> That's our, this is the worst guest we've already. I mean, he's fucking. His phone went off. He, he had to do five push ups. He's taking a bathroom break. I don't blame him for walking out on the Browns. I almost walked out too. What? The Browns were supposed to be the hot young team. Okay, the Browns were supposed to be. Hey, BB, how you doing? And now, now people are just ready to throw them to the curb after one bad week. Yeah, the Browns are who we, who me and you thought yeah, they were. Yeah, I was say people, the ba- people are fleeing the bandwagon at, at an alarming rate. I'm still on. They're going to have a late season push and make the eight and eight, maybe. I think, I think they'll be. I still like that's about where I had them though. Like, I think they'll be fine, but not very good. I don't I, like. Seven I think and they'll nine. be great. <laughs> I'm still can't do the whole arm. My arm still. My I'm shoulders. Oh so, yeah, you got to throw your shoulder out. Yeah, I'm old. I, you know, I was pitching. I was doing a little relief in some middle innings, just yeah. kept trying to get out there. You know, baseball's the best sport. You know, it's the best American sport. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's Johnny? Sport, it's the sport we talk about the most, Yeah, for it's sure. America's sport. Yeah. It's America's sport, man. We it just always, makes you feel like a patriot. We're always always talking that baseball here. Dude, um, I love it. On the podcast, Gonzo loves baseball. I love baseball. And right. I don't care. Oh, Trey, Jesus, <laughs> Trey walked in the I uh, walked out the door like Kramer over there. <laughs> Damn it, you beat me to it. That was exactly what I was gonna say. Trey, you gotta shut the door for acoustics. Come on, bro. And Trey Trey came out of the bathroom hundred percent like Cosmo Kramer. Yeah. That was that was that is the most oh, no. And he's and he's in Johnny's fridge now. Oh, so he's I banging mean, around in he's there. He's basically Kramer. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, while, while Trey's making a mimosa over there. Uh, <laughs> can, you cl- can you close the door? <laughs> acoustics, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. We're trying to have good acoustics. Players only, baby. <laughs> Players, Players only, only, baby. Players only, baby. <laughs> All right. Can we steal that name now that it's not a thing? Uh, they probably still own the rights to it for sure. several years, if I had to guess. Yes, we are still live. The yeah. only person that left was you. Yeah. Nothing else changed. We didn't stop for you. But I'm glad you're back because now I was going to throw out the question. Uh, okay. So we had two extremely significant quarterback injuries over the weekend. Oh no! Uh, potentially like league altering type stuff. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is done for the year. I don't believe it. The Steelers are zero and two, and Big Ben is done for the year. Step right up, Mason Rudolph. You're the next contestant. On Oof, be that who's Steelers after Mason Rudolph? Uh, well, they traded Josh Dobbs last week. I know that. Uh, to the to the Jaguars, so I'm not. It's probably a practice squad guy. If I had to get it, is Charlie Batch still around? <laughs> well, he's probably 50 years old. <laughs> so get him out there. I, uh, I, I think. I think How old Ryan Fitzgerald? <laughs> I think the Steel, I think the Steelers are done. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. It's over quick this year. Like that's it. I don't like 
for the Saints with the Drew Brees injury, I think there's like hope of the Kamara is too good to like just like, fall they apart. They go three and three with Brees out for six weeks. I guess yeah. their schedule is fairly easy. They have a couple soft games in there. I know they play Arizona and Tampa Bay for two of the games in that stretch. I think Teddy can can manage them through those type of games and, and get a win leaning on the run game. Um, but a whole season without Big Ben, I, and they're you're already zero two. Yeah, I think it's over. What what I'm most upset about is that the Bengals might beat them and lose a few <sighs> lose a few spots. In the yeah, like there. the Steelers will get the number one pick, and the, uh, don't even. Oh my God, no! The, the uh, Steelers are going to get the number one pick, aren't they? I mean, you know what? <laughs> Beating the Steelers is always good. Dude, but if the Steelers get the number one pick and they get Tua and he's good for the next ten years and I have to watch see him twice a year kick our ass, I'm gonna hate it so bad. Mm-hmm. I'll <laughs> I'll be really upset if that happens. Kind of rooting for that. <sighs> Don't that's that's <laughs> that's not very nice. Come on, uh, Steelers are my AFC. We team. suffered enough. We I've lost been... we lost forty one to seventeen at home to the 49ers. Forty ers Leave us are good. Bengals fans alone right now. Hey, yeah, real leave quick. Us alone. I know we're gonna get into fantasy a little bit later potentially. Yes, but um. I was reading so many articles on Dante Pettis. What's the deal? Why do people? Why are people in love with him and he doesn't play? What's well? He's not even in their like rotation. In yeah, San I know. But why do point. people love him? I don't know. He was a trendy pick. Uh, he was. Well, he played at Boise State, I think. Which I just, probably contributes. I, I I don't know. Like he he was he was a darling. Like, okay. People people won't like if you get drafted high. People will believe in you. Till the bitter end, basically. Like, All right, he got drafted high. He's a second round pick, I believe. Yeah. Okay. All right, like, that there'll, makes more there'll sense. be somebody who's like, he's he's good. You just got to be in, like, there's Laquan Treadwell truthers out there still, probably. Yeah, but then Sammy Watkins had a couple good weeks, so I mean, I, mean, I yeah, get confused until, he, until he's <laughs> until he's injured. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. That's the uh, mm-hmm. that's the Sammy Watkins experience. <laughs> oh, it's it's a fun time. I, I I would beg to differ, but I've heard. I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Um. So yeah. Like Steelers done, Saints maybe, maybe still hope for. Yeah, I think the Saints are still going to make the playoffs. They're not going to get as high as a seed as they as they used to, but I think they can hold their own. I still for, think they'll win I that still division. Think they're going to win the Super Bowl. That was my prediction. Or no, I make the it's, Super Bowl. They're going to lose to the Chargers. Yeah, I would say I had them winning the Super Bowl. They're going to lose. I mean, I got to stick with it. If you make a Super Bowl prediction, you can't change it. I think as long two. as they get into the playoffs, then, then they're, they're just good. as dangerous. They're just the yeah. same thing, yeah. It'll suck because they'll probably have to win two road games instead of one. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they could. Like, if Breeze is back and, and, and clicking, like, him and Michael Thomas is just unstoppable. And the Kamara. Saints, yeah, the Saints' yeah. home field advantage is... Really good though. It is. They have one and of the biggest as, home field advantages. They're not as good when they go on their own. Well, you no. guys love their home their uh, their chance so much. You guys stole it. That's not what happened. Hold on, okay. that's not. <laughs> what Come on, man. Like, what are you? What is wrong with you? Trey, isn't that how it goes? Is it not? What's that? Didn't the Saints steal the Bengals' catchphrase? <laughs> who dat versus who day? I think well, they did. What was first? I think ours was first. Who day? Who day? Bengals. Who dat? The Bengals are older than you would think. Bengals have been around since the 60s. Yeah, that's, I mean, all right, they're as old as you thought. Damn yep. it. Yeah, they're <laughs> old as you thought they were. <laughs> Just as old as you thought they were. Look at I, that. I know how old the Bengals are. We got ourselves a real conundrum here. The Bengals could die at any point. They're pretty old. <laughs> yeah, that's true. My Bengals, they've, they've been dying for 40 years. <laughs> Speaking of dying for 40 years, Cam Newton, right? Oh, um, he's not 40. Uh, hey, whoa, you didn't like that? I thought it was a pretty oh. good singer. Yeah. I, I, I got a kick out of that. I think it was in poor taste. Uh, Cam Newton's broken. Uh, his body is shattered. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's he cannot he he is not a threat to run anymore, and he is a one dimensional quarterback who's not particularly good at the one dimension that he can still do. Mm. So it is. I, I don't know. This might be a quick decline for Cam. Is all I'm saying. I mean, he's still got the Plus arm. He looks like he? he's going to a picnic. <laughs> Yeah, that's after the game. Yeah, he, he, he dresses like a lady going to church. Yep. He dresses like church ladies. I mean, that's what he like. If that's what he enjoys doing, that's good, good, for, good for yeah. Good for yeah, him. Good if for we're going him. for um, professional sports player styles, um, the two biggest unique ones are probably uh, Cam Newton, and I'm going to go with Russell Westbrook. Yeah, yep. The thing okay. about Cam Newton is. Every outfit fucking sucks. They're all, they're all, they're all wet. They're, they're all wet. Outfit. Outfit. No, but you man. like Russ's? You'd wear some of those? I, some, I of Russell, some, Russell, some of Russell's. Some of Russell's. Hard, too. No, yeah, but some I of them I would wear. Some of them. Yeah, what? I would wear some of them. Nah, I would not wear any of Russell's outfits. I wouldn't wear the one where he says photographer on it. That <laughs> orange I would not wear any of no. Cam's outfits. No, no, oh, no. Absolutely not. I have to wear a romper. What about Mellow? 
Remember, I, I, yeah, I'd wear some Mellow stuff. Remember Mellow's hat? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mellow's hat game was sick. Oh, Mel- Mellow's hat game. I'm glad we got a little basketball talk yeah. at least still. Can we talk about something that's... We're going to talk about FIBA. Okay, fine. All right. So you don't want to talk about Cam Newton's broken body? Um, let's talk yeah. about Philip Rivers throwing interceptions late in games. That's never happened before. That's typical. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Come on, that's my Super Bowl MVP. Yep, that's the most Chargers way to Phillip lose a Philip Rivers? <laughs> yeah. He's your Super Bowl MVP? Yeah, Phil's going to put it all better. together it's this year. It's been a year. long, <laughs> historic story. You should know better. I'm rooting for Phil this better, year. Bro. I'm rooting. Come on. Phil's, Phil's, no, Phil's going to let you down when it hurts the most. I'm rooting for Phil as well, but I don't think You know what gonna. it is, though. You know, yeah, but you, you know what it is. Yeah. You already know what yeah. it is. You know Phil's going to break your heart. Don't don't bother. Phil's going to throw a pick at the worst time and... Blow what are you guys high on Phil Rivers for? You? I just I like want. Phil. I like Phil. He's a, a good nice story. He's a good story. Such I know, nice but guy. if he finally gets it, that'd be a nice story. He don't he's get one it. of the he's top like thirty nine. He's the NFL's get it for fixed. Seven years. So far, he's the one Patriots of, won it after nine eleven. The NFL's fixed. <laughs> so far, <laughs> Philip Rivers the Saints is, won after Katrina. Yep. Investigate three eleven. NFL's fixed. Legalized ranch. Yep. God damn right. The government's listening, bro. Yeah, man. I think Philip Rivers. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks to not win it. I would agree, actually. Yeah, yeah he is. Bruce, for sure. Yeah. So I want him to get it. What about Dan Marino? The best. Of course, the best. Okay, the best. just making sure. Let's get real. All right, so rather than discussing... Christian Ponder. <laughs> okay, moving on. Right. Christian Ponder. Trace, probably, pr- probably number one Christian Ponder, then Marino number okay, two. Okay, give your hot I, takes out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had Joe Montana as, as number two, but Christian Ponder is a strong number one. Wait, Joe Montana won it. I'm talking oh, about, I thought we were I'm talking about guys... All, I thought we were just no, talking no, about, I'm talking about guys so, who haven't, haven't won it. All time, I, I, yeah, all so, time. So, did, and then did Ponder win number three? Uh, dude, are you sure number one's not Achilles Smith? Ooh, Achilles! Are we sure it's not? We're talking about Bengals grades. We got to put Jeff Blake in there. Oh, Oh, Jeff Blake! What about John Kitna? Kitna. Is he a great? Oh yeah, he's a Bengals great. John Kitna for sure was one of the best. Dude, growing up for us, John Kitna when we were like ten or eleven was like the second best quarterback we'd ever seen. It was Jeff Blake and then him. That was true. Who's your best quarterback of all time? Jeff Blake, Carson Palmer. Uh, Boomer yeah. Esiason. Carson. Yeah, Boomer probably. Boomer Carson. Yeah, Boomer or, or Carson. Or those two. Carson, Carson before he got hurt was... Carson Carson was fantastic before he got Steelers. hurt. I mean, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton's Dalton. top like, three here. Probably, he's probably third best <laughs> besides <laughs> Boomer and... and, and Andy Dalton's Steelers, big, I mean, we lost all those times in the playoffs, but we made it to the playoffs a lot. Yeah. We did get there a bunch. That we was did. pretty cool. We got there I'm going to look back on this era more fondly than I realize. I, I'm gonna next time the Bengals make the playoffs. I'm just gonna enjoy the ride more. I think that's what I learned from this run. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to be. I want to be a more pure fan, um, and that's for me to work on. I'm sorry. I don't need to. You guys aren't my I not, I need to stop hating on the Bengals and just support everything just they do. Enjoy it. Just you because know? when, it, when it, they're good again, just enjoy it, man. Yeah, why? When, when why they, they get to the miserable? playoffs, yeah. When they get it to the playoffs and lose, it's like, oh, they got to the playoffs yeah, again. Exactly. Remember when we used to do that? It's better for me if I if I enjoy Bengals football that way. Uh, it's it's healthier. At the very least. Me and Trey just know about being winners. Yeah, we don't know cool. about being that's losers. Fine. That's good. I'm, I just won. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm happy for you guys. That must be fun. Hey, someday, Packers. Someday maybe I'll know what that's All like. Right, let's move it. All right, moving what on. on. Patriots wax the Dolphins. Next. Don't, don't care. Uh, Bills beat, the, beat up on the Giants 28-14. Eli looked rough, and uh, Pat Shermer would not commit to him as the Week 3 starter. Is this no. the end of Eli in New York? Yeah. Should have been the end of Eli at the beginning of the season. I would agree. Should have been the should end have of been Eli been last two, year. Last year. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I don't see any reason to stick with him. You're not winning games, and he is not and your you got, future. And you got Eli as your backup. So I mean, it's true. You do you do go to Eli Manning Jr. <laughs> Daniel Jones. As it your would backup. be it would be okay if Eli Manning was a game manager. But he throws. He's, he's throws still so not. He thinks, he thinks he's a gunslinger still. <laughs> Eli's still trying to fit it in windows that he has no business trying. It's it just in. so it's slow. Too much, money, uh, too much time on Eli. That's, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, Next. Sorry. What an Didn't Eli hater. Back. Next. Josh Allen. Josh Allen's fun. You should watch him if you Ooh. haven't. Yeah, he's uh, fun. Seahawks. Seahawks beating the Steelers in that Ben Roethlisberger injury game. Uh, Seahawks. It's st- still a good win on the road at at uh, Pittsburgh. A lot of teams will beat Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh this year now, but uh, still, still a good win. Seahawks get off to a two and zero start. Uh, I didn't have much from that game. Did you guys? No, okay, not much. Moving on. 
Uh, Cowboys Redskins, Dak Prescott continues. Most to racist game in America. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians. Here it is. Most classic game in America. You know why? Because America is classic racism. Did why the, can we not? Did the white chase? man win? What's that? Did the white man win? Oh, yeah, of Cowboys won. Thirty one twenty one. Oh, yeah. Expect any less. White people win. Yeah, so, white white people don't lose these. What were you gonna say, Johnny? Can we just get rid of the Redskins name already? Yeah. Why yeah. are we? God so sake. true. Jesus. It's 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 and it's, to make it worse, it's a dark. Kind of reddish skin Native yeah. American person on the helmet. <laughs> like, <laughs> extremely, yeah, extremely offensive. Should well, we, I mean, the Blackhawks would have to get rid of theirs too, though, Johnny. Uh, let's are keep we, it moving. No, are the Blackhawk is a tribe. It's not a derogatory term. Uh, I, yeah. their logo is pretty, pretty racist looking. It's kind are of. We, racist. Are we, are we, are we going to become? <laughs> but they're not the Washington yeah. football team. <laughs> is that, are we going to? We're going to become that podcast. We're going to have to. All right. So the name is the name is out. They are now the Washington football team. All okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Don't say ever, that we're, we're no longer calling them the Redskins. Johnny, come on! I had already stopped saying it. Sorry. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> but hey, if you are that Washington football team, you might be owing to. But that's okay because your starting quarterback and your starting running back are two up and coming stars like Case Keenum and Adrian Peterson. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait! You got you what? got Haskins, who's not no, good, sh- sh- and you got. Um, <laughs> What's the other guy? Uh, Geis, ma- who's hurt. Doesn't matter. Was Darius true. Geis? That doesn't matter. Was true. That <laughs> so was nice. that was their starting quarterback and starting running back in week two of the regular season. All right. Oof. Moving on to a game that was much more enjoyable. Uh, Cardinals looked game. Didn't come up with a win again. But mm. they went into Baltimore. Lost 23-17. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury getting a little conservative. Kicking three chip shot field goals inside the five-yard line. You're, you're a double-digit underdog on the road. You're inside the five-yard line three different times. And you kick a field goal all three times, and you're supposed to be like the high flying, run and gunning guy. What is that? Take the points. Take, no, take the points. Never. Always take the points. Not in that situation. When you when you are playing with house money that way, when you're that big of a dog, nobody expects you to go in there well, and win. Play play like you're there to win the game, not to like keep. You it play close. to win the game. I mean, if it's week two, you're still you're still trying to win, and when you're trying to win and you think you're good, you're still doing the. Right place, it, and it's right to kick the field goal there. I don't You're not think gamb- it is. I think I think they still think they can win. I think they should personally. I think they should gamble every play because I, I know they're not going to win, but they think they're still going to win. I think I think it's ridiculous though, especially like just because of like Kingsbury's reputation, it goes so against what like his like quote unquote brand is. Like he isn't supposed to be that guy. I expect like John Fox to do that. Mm-hmm. I expect like old timey football coach guy to do that. I don't expect the, like the next like the cool guy football coach like the McVay generation isn't supposed to be like that. So it was weird and like I also fuck co- McVay and this whole coaching tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's all right. You're out there. Yep. Um, They're all trash. Kyler has been upset with with Kingsbury now like two weeks in a row because last week it was an overtime when they had like a fourth and six from like the 45 with like a minute left in overtime and they punted it to like basically to like take the tie. Instead of like trying to pick up the first down and go for the win, Kyler was visibly upset then. And then the, I think it was the second or third time that they like opted to like kick a field goal. He was like super pissed again this time. And so like I don't know if it's anything. It's two games that were close. Like it might just be whatever. But like I think it's something to keep an eye on. I haven't like heard it talked about much, but like I watch more Cardinals than most. So like I don't know. I think there might be cracks in the Murray Kingsbury thing early on. Yeah, and. Um... I kind of agree. I'm always a big proponent of take the points. Kick the field goal. It's fourth down. It's even fourth and one. Take the points. I'm a big proponent of it. But their defense really isn't good enough for you, you have, to settle you have, for field you goals. You have David Johnson. You have what's supposed to be an elite running back. That's that's the whole reason you have him on your roster, I he, thought. He's that. He's exactly that guy. You know? Like, it just, I don't know. It. it to me, I, like, I get why Kyler would be upset about it. Like, you're not putting yeah, faith for enough sure, to make those plays. Is Kingsbury playing mind games? Is, and he's like, mind he doesn't games. Wa- he doesn't want you to go out there and mind be a- games. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want you to go out there and like your first two games like fuck up bad and like have like bad so experiences. He's trying to like, preserve his confidence. Yeah, I guess. Like, 
Because it doesn't matter yet at all anyway. Like and You know why? Because of these fragile millennial quarterbacks. <laughs> they, need, they need a participation trophy to make them feel yeah. good. So that's why he's kicking field goals. Yeah. You know why? Because field goals are the participation trophies of drives. Yep. That's why. I'm just I'm a hot take machine right now. I yeah. can't stop. I, I, well, I'm, I mean, a participation trophy means you didn't even get anywhere. The, what do you mean? It means you participated. It means you participated. But if you're getting a field goal, you're getting points. Okay, you still have a good drive. I think and a field goal. You might have to look up the meaning, but yeah. That's like a fifth place trophy. Yeah, you're right. It's like the <laughs> it's like the consolation winner. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like the it's winner, a bronze medal. It's the winner of the consolation bracket. A punt is a con- or a, what do you call it? A participation trophy. Yeah, a punt. Well, is- I mean, if you get a good punt within the ten yard line, I'd still give that a fourth place there. Wow, that's a fourth place. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's incredible. All I right, disagree. I, I, I mean, how, how do we even no, rank these guys? No, this is fine. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm not done with this. I like that. Because you know what? I think a great punt is an underrated football play. Yes, thank you. I love... I love. You love arm punts, though. I love punts of all varieties. That is, I, punts are very much part of my brand. All right? When a punter, like cr- like the J.K. Scott, like, game-winning punt from the He wrote Harry Packers, Potter, right? That was... Yes. Yes, he did. And a lot of people don't know that. Like, actual <laughs> football people know that field position is a huge thing in yep. football, especially in some of these defensive games that we've seen with some of these teams. Man, if you can hit, like, a 58-yarder to, like, the 6-yard line or something, yeah. like, that gets me going. But people that, watching that, people watching at home like, are like... That's a nothing play. Yeah. Yep, but people like, watching I'm, at home don't get the field position game. It's no, a whole game. But, but I'm I, more I, interested I, in the return than the kick. Well, yeah, you, you like, you're like you a kick return guy, but I just no, Who doesn't love a good kick, kick return? <laughs> but I love, I love he a loves, loves a kick, though. I like the punt. Not <laughs> I like, a kick. I like the punt. Kickoffs are bad and dumb, and they, they should be outlawed. They're dangerous as fuck for no reason. And they're not even fun. Punt returns, though, are the best. Punt returns are like the coolest play in football. Yeah, because yeah. they're not like anything else in football. It's like rugby. Yeah, like it's soup. Like a punt is wild, but like kickoffs kind of suck. Kickoffs do suck. And, and, you, know, and you see like one kickoff return in a game. <laughs> and it's to like the twenty, and then it's like, yeah, I shouldn't have taken it out. He should have. He should have kneeled it down. What an <laughs> what, idiot! <laughs> what is he doing? Everybody complains about it, but then anytime somebody has a bad return, they're like, oh, I'll cut that guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, get rid of him. He's, he's a moron. That guy's trash. Like that's basically why Ty Montgomery got cut from the Packers. Because he's not a good return man. No, because man. he coughed up that return oh, when yeah. he like, tried to bring it out in the Rams game, and like even that was it. He got traded like the next like day. So they're like, probably like, never take it out. <laughs> yeah, and he tried to do it, and he lost it. They're like, that's it. Told that's you. it. you have you, one job. You had one job. <laughs> you just let the ball go over your head, and if it does not, you grab it and go forward. No fumble it. That's your only job. <laughs> that's all you do. If it's behind you, you don't move. You put, your arms, you put your arms up and say, hey, it's behind dad, you guys. Dad, dad, yep. All right, then we come out to the 25. <laughs> your only job. <laughs> Damn and it, You Ty. fucked it up, Ty. You went to Stanford. You were supposed to be smart. That's why they had him back there. Yeah. They thought he was smart. They're like, dude, this guy's Stanford educated. He's got to be. He's got to he be went to smart. A, He's highly educated. He went to a highly, highly educated <laughs> university. All right, finishing up here. Um, we discussed a little bit the Texans Jags game. Ugly game. Texans held on to win that one. Gardner Minshew, the stash looked okay. Uh, honestly, Chiefs Raiders twenty eight ten win for the Chiefs. Chiefs scored all of the all of their points in the second quarter. Uh, and that was that was plenty. That was fine. They didn't really. Wait, need they it. had all twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, they scored twenty eight in the second quarter. They did not score the rest of the game. It also did not matter. They also were down ten to nothing to start the game. Did they try it all in the second half? Did Pat Mahomes even play? No, I mean like yeah, I te- okay. like the people were out there and they were doing stuff, but like they didn't. They weren't really. Yeah, they, just, right. it was, they, they did enough. They yeah. it was a, it was a win where they coasted. Did we do the Packer game yet? Uh, I think we kind of let off with the Packer game a yeah. little bit. Trey yeah. perked up a bit, then he fell back <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> GB, GB Pack TV over here. Yeah, so we, 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 we uh, discussed the uh, the Bears. Right. The Bears. Game we did. Right. We did lots of Bears discussion. I don't think we really broke down the Packers game. Okay, we can we can we can come back. Like, what do you? Uh, what? I mean, I think we discussed like the defense looking good again. Yeah. People potentially being concerned with the offense. Uh, what were your takeaways from the Packers game, guys? Uh, let's take a quick break and get back to the Packers. How about that? Okay, we'll come yeah. back. We'll come back. How about that? We'll come back with that? the Packers. So stay tuned for the Packers and then uh, maybe a little wider receiver discussion after the break. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, we are back here on Jabroni Sports. 
Jesus, come in. I know you're excited to be back. <laughs> but I'm really excited. <laughs> Coming in. By, he was breaking boards, actually. I know I know. we told you guys earlier that you missed some physical some physical activity. I was breaking uh, boards. Gonzo, when, as soon as he said, welcome back, he, boom, just chopped a board. It was pretty, Dude, I'm a, I was impressed. I'm very impressed. I'm yeah. a karate expert. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. In person, MVD. Like, again, maybe down the road we could video stream some of these things. Or we can just video stream still pictures of ourselves. Yeah, we can just video we stream. Can, we can do that, too. Wait, wait, we're We've not going to put... done that. Are we going to put on the podcast us chopping boards? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think if, I think that would probably help get every views, Every right? YouTube video is a podcast, and there's one randomly where we're karate chopping boards. <laughs> that, the, th- the thumbnail... It's Jabroni's just, karate chopping boards. The thumbnail it's an hour this. and a half of us chopping boards. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I think the thumbnail for this episode should be someone chopping a board. <laughs> and then we'd like... It's, just the normal picture for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> you never actually see somebody chop a board. We can maybe make that happen. I think no I mean, that's that, that would be the ultimate troll move. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. we're not gonna do it. It's too much work. That's fine. I mean, you're just you're just out here chopping boards for real. So thank yeah, you. I don't need to see people let people see my work. It's just for me. <laughs> it's just just for you. Yeah, that's perfect. Just for men here, Joe. Well. <laughs> Wait, not, is, is, do they make hair gel just for men? Just for men, hair gel. The, that's their jingle. Is, is it product or is it for coloring your hair? It's gel, okay? Okay, so it's just product. <laughs> it's gel. Don't worry about it. It's some kind of gel. It, all right. I'm not, I don't think It's I, actually jelly. I, oh, man. It's great See, on the I didn't, I didn't ask any more questions. Why just did you for provide, men, hair jelly. <laughs> why would you provide additional information without a question having been asked? It's almost well, like just, you wanted to make my stomach turn. Just thought you guys should know. Is that our um, sponsor today? Is just for men? Just, just for, for men. men. Just for men. Hair jelly. Yeah, hair jelly. Mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> sounds Good. sounds like a treat. It was uh, great with peanut butter. We'll go, we'll go through the Packers quickly since we promised that before the break. We did. We, we did. I don't lose know. You one promised member. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I may have promised it. So let's let's discuss it. One man down. Well, oh yes, yeah. As as we discussed it back with the with the court. The core trio here. Um, R- R.I.P. Our guest. It'll happen. It'll happen. From time we to kill time. guests sometimes. Sometimes we we uh, kidnap them, or sometimes they get kidnapped away from us. He couldn't handle the uh, board karate board chopping. No. He broke his hand. He had to go to the hospital. <laughs> That's why he's not here. It gets. It's a little intense or some. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Not everyone can. Not everyone can hang. It's fine. Especially if you've never done it. There's a little technique to it. <laughs> I don't, All right, so I don't know how to transition smoothly from here, <laughs> so I'm going to just hard steer. I don't know what, um, we, what did you want to talk about with the Packers because I feel like we did this. I just wanted to break down the game a bit and say uh, positives and negatives of the game. Did we not? We didn't go through that earlier. Not, not, not an extent. And you know what? Because I know we didn't talk at all about this, and I thought it was extremely encouraging. Uh, the Packers' run game was very effective in this game. Super yeah. effective. Uh, Aaron Jones Both. had 23 carries for 116 yards. I also like that he did that, and his longest rush was 15 yards. So it wasn't like he just yeah. ripped off a huge play. He was just consistently getting those like eight to ten yard type runs, and those are huge. Yeah, look great. When you get ahead of the sticks that often, and you get to call plays out of a second and two mm-hmm. or a second and three, that's when Rodgers can go down the field, which is what happened. Yep, exactly. And they were in those situations early, and they capitalized a lot early. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that was to, that is to their credit. They they struck while the iron is hot, and while they had the Vikings on their heels, they maximized the damage. After that, Minnesota finally seemed to like get yeah, grow they, into the they game. They were a little shocked in the beginning of the game. They weren't expecting that. They did not have a game plan for his offense. They've never seen it before. Yep. So they were kind of... For a divisional game, there wasn't a lot of familiarity between no, the opponents. Not. Which Until is, towards the end of the game. Yeah, exactly. And I think I think the second matchup, perhaps, you'll see some adjustments, especially from a Zimmer defense. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think there's reasons to believe it'll just be a tougher game for the Packers in yeah. Minnesota in general. In the second half, the Packers were non-existent on offense. On offense, exactly. But their defense played well throughout. Uh, Kirk Cousins well, gave them plenty of opportunities. <laughs> Uh, the Vikings went back to the run game in the second half, even though they were down, and they were able to get back in the game. Yeah. Uh, a couple field goals away, a couple Kirk Cousins completing a pass. Maybe a pass to the correct team, you know, something like that would be cool. What is yeah. he doing sometimes? You see that one where he was rolling backwards, threw it into double coverage. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do? Kirk, Kirk Cousins makes the kind of passes that only a man with $96 million guaranteed left on his deal can make. <laughs> Kirk yeah. Cousins makes the kind of passes that job security can allow you to try. That's what he does. He's like, you're not, you're not gonna bench me. Let's like, not. Come on. Some I, of them, I, some of them look like a good pass, like nice spirals, like yeah. 
but they're just not by the receiver. <laughs> <laughs> when you see it leave his hand, you're like, oh, 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 okay, okay. That wasn't by to anyone. It looked good for a second. Yeah, no, because in the air, it looks like it's going to be a big play. And then it lands like eight yards ahead of a receiver, and you're like, Oh, all right. Uh, uh, the guy's wide open, too. Yeah, like, all right, Kirk, let's get him next time, I guess, buddy. So the reason the Packers won this game is because Kirk Cousins sucks. It's, yeah. Kirk Cousins Kirk, sucks. Kirk Cousins has Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen and still isn't very good. Hey, no. It's crazy. Maybe if you the Packers complete, defense is just really good. Mm, I think Kirk Cousins missed some wide open receivers He's that if he would have hit, the game would have turned around. They only let Kirk Cousins throw ten times in week one. <laughs> An NFL quarterback. Like, I think we kind of saw why the run for a scheme is very important. Uh, Minnesota is not built to take on an early deficit the way they did in this game. No. I think, as you alluded to, they kind of had a crisis of identity at times in the first half. Uh, the second half, they remembered who they were. They got back to doing what they do well. Mm-hmm. Um, and it feels like one of those games where it was more like they ran out of time than the Packers were really going to, like, make them pay for anything it, it felt more like the Packers were hanging on yeah. but the Packers had played well well enough up till that point where they it still felt like the Packers deserved the victory to yeah. me yeah because in the second half the Vikings were running on them it looked like it t- game of tail of two halves mm-hmm. second half the the Vikings dominated them on the ground and at the line yeah on offense uh, and that's what they should have been doing but they got punched in the mouth early and they were not ready for it going down 20 21 to zero you think you should go away from the run game, but I'm glad they stuck to it. A couple Kirk Cousins passes that um, were to his wide receivers and not to the other team, and I think the Vikings win that game, actually. Yeah, I, like I said, I think that Minnesota has reason to be encouraged for the return matchup. Yeah, this time on the return matchup, I don't think they're going to go off for 21 to start the game. Why now not? they Now they know, <laughs> now they, now they know the Packers' offense. They're not going to let that happen. Yeah, and I, I think it's going to be a lot easier for them to like get on track as far as like running the ball and like mm-hmm. it's just going to be easier at home. You're going to be able to hear when you're calling plays a lot. E- like it just mm-hmm. every, it, it fit, it's going to help them a lot. Yeah, um, and I, I still think they could win the division. I'm going to stick. I'm sticking with Green Bay as like my team that I think will win it. But Minnesota is good enough to win this division. Yes, I still have Minnesota as my pick. It's it's just that um, you know. You can game plan a few drives in the beginning, which the Packers did, and those game plans run great. But once you run out of game plan, then it's just um, like a set play game plan. Yeah, yeah. Once you run out of that, you're just playing football. Like and the, the first 15. Is yeah, what exactly. Like people usually, uh, Matt, the Bears do it with Matt Nagy. The first 15 plays or so are, are scripted generally for a lot of teams. Yeah, and then uh, after that, it's just a football game. And I think that Minnesota Vikings just they, straight up. They won that part of the game. Yes, they won that part. So if they could have just hold it on in the beginning. Hold on, not hold it. <laughs> we're not we're not big on grammar. That's nah. okay. Nah. But yeah, no, I agree. Delvin Cook had an absolute monster game. Uh, he had 20 carries for 154 yards and a touchdown. He ripped off that 75 yard run. Uh, and then for, for Minnesota, it just it's yeah, 14 completions for Kirk Cousins. It's mm. not good enough. No, it's not good enough for for a modern NFL quarterback. I'm sorry, like you can't. Maybe he's not. That that might be the case, but you cannot have a completion percentage under fifty. Here's a question: Would you take Kirk Cousins or Mitch Trubisky? Mitch Trubisky is younger. <sighs> no, just right now, like how good they are right One now. One game, you got to win a game tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm probably to Trubisky. Be, to be honest, I'm taking Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Trubisky. Because he can, he, he can has scram- potential, and he can. Scram- yeah, but this he is just scram- one game. But he can scramble more better than Kirk can. He can. I will say this: Kirk Cousins will randomly have a game, game where he looks like Aaron Rodgers almost. He'll Kirk, randomly well, have make, a great game. Make no mistake: game. Kirk Cousins is going to have a game this year where he throws for four hundred yards and three touchdowns. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen at some point. During the, um, they're showing the stats of Kirk Cousins' fourth quarter comebacks to win it. He's got like six on the Redskins, which is nuts. Uh, it's nuts, and then. I guess he just doesn't have it. But we'll have that one random time. Yeah, but he was really good. With That's him. how he got that contract. That's exactly how he got that contract. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wonder if Kirk Cousins like sends RG3 part of that. I'm like, thanks for getting hurt, man. It really allowed me to make way more money than I should have. <laughs> if, it wasn't should. For you, if it wasn't for you, this never would have happened. He should. Yeah, and it would, have, it would have spared us all having to watch Kirk Cousins as a starting quarterback for the next three years. Oof. All Next. Right. Can we move on? Yeah. I'm really can, excited for this next segment. We can right. absolutely move on. And then, yeah, as we, we, we're not going to go in depth here, but as we alluded to, the uh, the Sunday night game between the Falcons and the Eagles was, was a dandy. Uh, it was a good I, game. I, I think there's a couple healthy Eagles still. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a few of them. I mean, next man up, though. <laughs> yeah, the Eagles. Nelson Aguilar had an okay game. Oh, he also had a huge drop, though. Yeah, he did. He had a, that mass, was, he had a massive drop. That was rough. But he he had a lot of good plays, though. He, he did. Was, he played well. He seemed like he was their number one with all their wide receivers hurt. But just, yeah, it felt like every drive, like a different Eagle was, like, out for the game. It was like, oh, he's, okay, well... I mean, Elshon, okay, I, yeah, of course. Like, of course, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Duh, like, <laughs> never fails. But then by the end of the game, I was like, Mac Hollins is playing for the... Who is, oh, yeah, two years ago he had a catch. I remember him. Yeah, I guess. Like, yeah, but... And they were... they On the road, like, they were still in it, though. They could have won that game. So I, I think it was, for both teams, uh, probably an encouraging performance in different ways. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, it, was, it was an interesting game, too. Like, it... Wasn't the most exciting, but by the end, it was it was a really interesting game to watch and a lot of fun. Had a, had a dramatic finish. Absolutely. All right. So, um, one of the big plays from that dramatic finish uh, was Julio Jones taking a screen pass and housing it from fifty five yards out. Take it to the house. Take it to the house. Julio Jones is undoubtedly one of the best receivers in the NFL today. Wow, what a smooth transition. Thank you. Um, so. With that being said, we uh, kind of teased that we might discuss some NFL wide receivers here on the show today, and uh, we're going to discuss the top 10 NFL wide receivers. Mm. So each of us is going to give our top 10 NFL wide receivers. Um, we did not really discuss this much beforehand. Uh, we discussed like a couple of the people that we had in here, but that's about it. So I also wanted to add, we're each going at it from a different angle. Or, yeah, that's true. That yeah, we, we each are ranking them from a different perspective. Um, so personally, myself, I am ranking them from sort of a fantasy football perspective, and more so a dynasty fantasy football perspective. So I'm looking at guys that put up big numbers and that are going to contribute for the long term and are going to be factors in the league like going forward as well. Uh, so I may emphasize youth a little bit more than than others. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zach. I went with if I had one single game and I needed my team to give me some points, or I needed a guy to get me points and be my number one wide receiver, this would be the guy. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I thought. And, and Johnny, I, you went with, with what? I'm just going with best receiver right now. Oh, so I'm not, not taking potential. In the I thought I thought you were going with best player, man. I thought that I, was your I did use Madden to write down the list of wide receivers. <laughs> so you're going best player, man. Okay. No, so. you're not going best player, man. <laughs> but Madden, Come on, we but all need Madden, a gimmick. Madden was a research tool, though. Yes, I did list. use Madden to get the list of wide receivers. All you got to do is go to roster and sort by wide receiver and sort by overall. You write down the top, like, I, 20, and you pick from there. I get it. I get it. All right, so should we – how do you want to do this? Should we round robin, like, we each do our number 10, we each do our number nine, like, or Yeah, no, but we're going to we're gonna take each other's. Okay, okay, so we'll just go through. And do like, we want to go in – we should have rather probably discussed this. Yeah, we should have. On air. Absolutely. Do you want to start at the end or the beginning? I want to go 10 to 1. Oh, okay. oh, I have these in no order at all. I just have 10. Oh, you have Whoa, to. Whoa, you have to at least have them in order. Come yeah. on, we'll buy you some time. But yeah, like, you have Write to. some numbers yeah. by those. I'll let you guys go ahead and start. Okay, so right. since I'm going to do the fantasy perspective and Johnny would not have as much to do with fantasy anyways – uh, I'll start then. Feel okay. like feel like it makes the most sense. All right. All right. So for me, F- fantasy slash dynasty. Dynasty. For those that don't know, that's where you keep everyone. 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 And that's why my number ten dynasty wide receiver is Chris Godwin. That's. I mean, I'm not going to argue. I mean, definitely not on my list as a one game nope. wide receiver. But wouldn't think you. Would gosh be. darn, is he interesting? I think that Chris Godwin is. Phenomenal. Like, I think he is an incredible talent. Uh, I think that he has wrestled away the the number one wide receiver position for Mike Evans on the Buccaneers. Um, But they don't have a quarterback. They they don't, but I'm not looking at that necessarily. But almost, but I mean, my list for sure, it doesn't matter. But your list more so, wouldn't it matter of like, who's going to be getting this guy the ball? But within my like calculation of that is I assume that they are taking a quarterback early in the next draft. Okay. So if I get to have Godwin linked for the future with, like, Justin Herbert or Jake Fromm, or even if they're, I mean, if they have to get Tua, like, amazing, but, like, I don't think anyone's beat the Dolphins in the Tua tank this year. Um, Tua tank, Tua tank. But, yeah, I'm I'm baking in to him being my number 10 receiver. Uh, Baking in. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, in that ranking is, is, like, the fact that I think he will get a franchise quarterback in the next year and be starting with him for a long time in the next two years. That would be nice. So that's part of why I'm projecting him as my number 10 dynasty wide receiver. All right. 
My number 10 dynasty wide receiver is Adam Thielen. Ooh, oh, you're the one game. So you're, you're, I'm the one game. Okay, so I love Adam Thielen as a, I got to win one game. I, that's, that's true. Adam Thielen's great. Like, he's yeah. going to get you a bunch of catches. I mean, he might be hurt by the end of it, mm-hmm. but... But no, not, actually no, he's, he's, he's right. pretty but durable. He's pretty yeah. durable. Yeah. But but no, Adam Thielen's really good. I just he can he can do a lot of different stuff on the field and yeah, I just I just really like what Adam Thielen brings to the table for one game. I don't wanna like make it like, oh of course, like the the, the basically the white guy route runner stereotype, but he's an amazing route I runner. I don't wanna say it, but he's, he's a really he's, good route runner. He's an incredibly route runner. good route runner. Mm-hmm. He just knows how to get open. He had to be, because think about it, this is an undrafted guy from a D two school. And he's turned himself quietly into one of the top, you know, we're making the case, top 10-ish wide receivers in the league. Yeah. Like, it's an incredible story. And, like, he doesn't do it by, like, being physically dominant. He doesn't, he looks just like a dude. Yep. Like, his route running is incredibly precise, and his ability to change speeds is is really, really good. Like, he's quicker than you think. Faster than you know. Yeah. Um, so, I, I think he's a very strong number 10, actually. Johnny? Uh, my number 10 is actually T.Y. Hilton. Ooh, Ooh. okay, okay. I, I, I wanted to put him a little bit higher, but uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I just can't do it. I, right there, well, number 10. I have number 9, uh, T.Y. Hilton, actually, so yeah. that wow. uh, I'll say I'll, I'll discuss why a little bit more verbosely, uh, unsurprisingly. <laughs> uh, I think T.Y. is great because T.Y. has just been consistent. T.Y. has been so good, you don't think about T.Y., T.Y. just puts up like a 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns every year, and he's got Jacoby Brissett as his quarterback now, and guess what? He's got 170 yards and two touchdowns through the first two games. Like, it doesn't matter. T.Y. wins his matchup week after week. He's good. He's fast. He's better at, like, being a possession receiver than you'd think a 5'11 guy could be. Um, But, yeah, he's a really, really skilled receiver, and he's been an anchor of an offense quietly for – I mean, he's the guy that's there every year, you know, whether mm-hmm. Luck was banged up or not. T.Y. has been there every single year, and I think what he does goes under the radar. So, yeah, I, th- I think yeah. he's I T.Y. Think he's did, not, did not make my list. <laughs> really? Nope. That is interesting. Because at number nine, I have Stefan Diggs. Mm. Okay. Who I think is slightly better than Thielen. Mm. Um, I think... You, ha- you think they're very close, though. <laughs> very close. <laughs> you do have them as the ninth and tenth receivers <laughs> yes. in the league. So. I, I kind of agree with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think he's... I think he's a guy that plays has some really really awesome games, and I think for one game he could be awesome. And like, I guess I kind of had Dynasty in the back of my mind too because I'm like, I don't even think Diggs has reached his full potential yet. Like, I think Diggs takes a significant jump and gets a lot better as a ball player. Like, I he's just got really good hands to me. I just I really like what he can do on the field. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting that the Vikings got those guys and they used a fourth round pick and an undrafted free agent claim to get them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, if only Kirk Cousins can throw it to him. Yeah, like in, the- in theory. Did like Delvin this- Cook throw him? <laughs> nah, he'll be hurt. <laughs> like, in theory, they-, they got two freebies in terms of team building. Like, you got two wildly above slot values. Um, and a kind of piggyback, I have Stephon Diggs at number eight. Right. So I, I also have him at number eight, but my number nine. Really? Unanimously. Wow. That, was, that is a little surprising. That like No, I have him at number nine. Oh, you have him nine? Okay, yeah. so we have nine and two eights for Stephon yeah. Diggs. Okay, I guess we could make like a like a aggregate power ranking at the end. We could probably figure it out. I mean, uh, for number nine <laughs> for me, I made the hot take of Devontae Adams last week. Uh-huh. You know what? I, I can't. I made the hot take last week. You I can't, can't put, put him on the I just now. can't do it. No. <laughs> I, I, mm. you see, he had to lie to himself how, to how, not how about put him this? in the top ten. Tyreek Hill, does he count? Yeah. Yeah, of course he counts. Why would he count? He's on my list. I'll put, him, I'll put him there. Okay. Right. Number nine. Tyreek did not make my list. He didn't make your list? From Dynasty, Tyreek is too scary. I, I As a top ten Let me wide receiver. Yeah. He's pretty scary. <laughs> Yeah, you are a Tyreek owner in our league. I am, um, and I don't know, I dude, I I'm, I can't I can't ride the wave like that, man. I got rid of AB oh. before any of that happened. I can't ride those. There's only been one wave. What do you mean? He's only got in trouble once with Tyreek. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, it was a pretty big one. Like, it was a pretty big one. It was like, I mean, hey, he might not play this year for a minute. So like, that mm-hmm. stuff concerns me, and I'm not sure Tyreek learned a damn thing from any of it. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure that. Don't let people like, record you. Is probably hopefully what he learned. Yeah, well, for, I mean, from I a, hope you learn more. From but... a fantasy perspective, yes. From a human being perspective, I yeah, <laughs> I'm rooting for a little bit more. Yeah, we're, we're all pulling for him. Yeah, but that's why Tyreek did not make my top ten. Uh, sure. That and I think that 
Pat Mahomes can make anyone look good. Also, I guess I'm going to just jump up here, and uh, Tyree Kill is my number six. Hey, there it is. All right, you're already all the way up to number six. All right. But, I, I mean, we I've... skipped over my eight and seven. Oh, so. okay. Oh, well, what do you mean? I just wanted to oh, say for my Tyree like, Kill yeah. since... It was like so, a... so you already went with eight was um, Stefan Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Yeah, you're right. My, yeah. my number eight would be Michael Thomas. Oh, wow. Okay. I have Michael Thomas significantly higher. Me too. Well, I have a lot of guys that you probably won't agree with. <laughs> but this for one game, I think he's really good, but... I think he might... I mean, he's... Man. He could be the number... Like, honestly, he's, like, any of the guys on my top ten could be the best guy, but... Well, no, I think... I firmly believe on number one, but... Um, I, I like Michael Thomas a lot. I don't... Didn't need to... Didn't know I'd need to defend him this far down the list. I mean, it's still top eight wide receiver. I just... Yeah, yeah. Um, I also went with Stephon Diggs just because, I mean, him and Thielen are very close. Thielen's a better route runner to me, but Stephon Diggs is a playmaker. He's somebody who's going to get the ball, get past the guy, yeah. make something, you know, one-handed catch or something. He's got that playmaker uh, he mentality. Has, he has, a, he has a, a greater ability to make the spectacular play. Yes, he's got a greater spectacular play, playmaker kind of style, and I like that. So I'm putting him up at there at if number eight. Ty goes to the Ty, Ty goes to the guy who's more fun to watch. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, AJ, where are you at for seven? Uh, for number seven, I had Keenan Allen. Um, Interesting. Not on my list. Not on your list. Nope. Okay. I think Keenan Allen is incredible. Um, I think Keenan Allen has done an amazing job having like a second act to his career after the first half of it was basically defined by a series of injuries, and he's come back and he's been extremely consistent. He's been absolutely incredible. Um, he is clearly Philip Rivers' favorite target. They, Ever? Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, hold on. Antonio, Antonio Gates. Gates. Yeah, yeah top, 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 Antonio Gates. Top, two. top wide receiver. Yep, top wide receiver ever. Um, he's always open. He's constantly making people miss in small spaces. Uh, he's he's excellent in the slot. He can work well from the outside as well. He is just, he's an app. I mean, he's incredible. Like, other than, like, being, like, physically dominant, like, He's everything that I want a wide receiver to be. And he's <clears throat> shifty, too. He's elusive. He makes people miss. And, uh, yeah, I think Keenan Allen's incredible. And uh, that's why he's my number seven wide receiver. Well, my number seven, I would say his body is a little more dominant. He is uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. Wow, okay. Juju, Juju, Interesting. Juju, Juju number did, not, seven. did not make my list. I think he's... Did not make mine either. No. I think he's... I, I really like him as a prospect. I mean, not as a prospect. I think he's already hey, kind of we're, we're beyond himself. that point with him. Yeah. But um, for one game, I just like the physical tools that he brings. He's a little bigger of a guy. I think he, he does a really good job of going up and getting it. And I, I just really like what I've seen. I'm also a Steeler, so maybe I'm yeah, a little bit Steelers of a homer. I, that's okay. Um, I I like you just missed Schuster as well. Just didn't make my top ten. Okay, that's fair. Uh, my number seven is actually Keenan Allen as well. Right. Damn, oh. damn! Are you sure you didn't read my list? <laughs> no. We're the same. What, what, what we you had Ty ten, item nine, but our eight and seven are the same. Like, yeah. all right, all right. What do you got for six then? I'm really glad I had Chris Godwin. <laughs> Johnny doesn't know who that is. Um, do you? No. Oh, nice. I, 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 I predicted that. But when we were off the air, I said Johnny won't know who my number 10 is. <laughs> I did I did call that. Um, yeah, so who was your number 6 on? I thought it was your turn. You go, oh, yeah, okay. It's your turn. You're the starter. So, so yeah. quickly, before before I go into my number 6, can I can I provide a brief rebuttal? On, uh, can I be the devil's advocate on Juju? Sure. Okay. So, my reason that Juju did not make my top 10. I haven't seen a large enough body of work from Juju as a number 1 receiver to feel confident in him being a top 10 receiver in the league. Okay. Um, that's one of my biggest things. I also, um, for me, because again, it's a dynasty perspective, the question mark at quarterback right now is pretty significant. Uh, it's pretty scary. Well, why, I mean, I guess, but you made an argument before that you think the Bucks are going to go out and get somebody. like. But I don't know that Big Ben's done. So I think like if he has a 39-year-old Ben Roethlisberger playing quarterback for him next year, I don't know that that's an asset. I don't know but that I, that helps him. I would still be willing to wager that I would be willing to wager that it's more likely that the Steelers go out and grab a draft pick than the Bucks. Like at quarterback this, in this draft? Yeah. I would say it's pretty much equally likely. I, I think both of those teams draft a quarterback in the first round. For sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Saying, but whoever has the higher pick will take one sooner. But that's, yeah. The Steelers going to be bad. The Steelers, uh, the, uh, the Steelers just traded their first round pick, though. That's the other thing. Oh, yeah. Like, literally, oh, yeah. minute, literally like, while we minutes were... before this happened, the Steelers just traded their first round pick to the Dolphins for Minka Fitzpatrick. So the Steelers don't own their the... 2021st anymore. Speaking of which. This is 
Why would you do that? Are the Dolphins for sale? As a team, can yeah. can, can we buy the Dolphins? Why, no, no, I don't like know. individual <laughs> Dolphins, are they for sale? I don't think you can buy a Dolphin now. No, like Dolphins players. Uh, I mean, you have to trade for them. You can't. But buy, they're you can't all buy like them. anyone on the roster is available. I, would I feel assume like. the, the the Dolphins don't have any untouchables. Yeah, let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, the Dolphins don't have any. Sorry, Preston, Devontae Parker, stand yeah. put. <laughs> Preston Williams, <laughs> hang up, hang the phone up. Kenyon Drake. Yeah. Never in your life. Didn't Kenyon Drake? Wasn't he one of the guys that wants out? <laughs> Probably. I'm like 99% sure they all want, dynasty They team all want out. That so. he asked for his, to be traded. Kalen Balaj is a dolphin for life. <laughs> Damn right. I won't hear any different, sir. <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, hey, they got two firsts, though, and they might be picks number one and two. So that... I hope they do that, and then they take like they a take defensive like, tackle. No, and they go, no, I, 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 the opposite. I want them to take like Tua and Herbert, number one and two, and be like, no, one of them will be good. <laughs> and then they just have fight two, it out in training <laughs> camp. <laughs> they just have the two best quarterbacks from the draft class That'd on be the, the same most team. Lit episode. Take them away from hard knocks. Hard knocks. Could you imagine their preseason games would be sellouts? People would be there like, oh, oh like. Be nuts. And then the one that's not as good, you trade, right? You trade, and you probably still get like a first and a something for him, like because he's still going to be elite. Like, Maybe it's not. Well, actually, you got the second pick in the yeah. Draft. If you have the first and the second pick, you corner the market, man. You get multiple firsts for your <laughs> yeah. quarterback. All right, you do the John Freeze method in real life. That's that's what you do. You hoard Shouts the out. you hoard the quarterbacks. Shout out to our friend John Freeze. Shout out John, absolutely. Um, right. So sorry to circle so, back though. My number six wide receiver. Oh no, we all right. So. I, w- I get what you're saying on Juju, but I just I just think he has all the tools, and I just don't think Big Ben. I mean, I can't go off one game, and then Big Ben got hurt in this one, and like I don't know if Mason Rudolph's good or not. I I just have seen a lot, a lot of, from those Juju. Are, those are a lot of question marks, and for yeah. Dynasty, those are reasons why I wouldn't have him as a top ten receiver. For me, he's just off the top ten. I think Juju is a good receiver, but he's not in my top ten. Yep, I all just right. for me, there's too That's many fair. question marks for me to think he's a top ten like fantasy right. wide receiver. All right. So um, number six. Number six, Devontae Adams. All right. Um, yeah, I've, I've ta- I talked about Devontae extensively last week. I think Devontae is fantastic. I think his footwork is insane. Uh, his route running is crisp. I mean, it made one of my favorite receivers, Chad Ochocinco, literally break down in tears because it was so beautiful. Uh, did you see that, Johnny? I did not. <laughs> it's literally Chad Johnson, like, tears streaming down his face. It's like <laughs> bawling. He's like, man, the footwork. Devontae Adams. <laughs> y'all don't y'all don't understand how serious I am right now. Like, yeah, he's he got emotional. Um, but yeah, I just he get he consistently draws teams number one and then double sometimes triple coverage. Uh, there's not really a threat as a secondary receiver on the Packers that you have to like keep you honest. Um, so I just yeah for all those reasons I, I think he's I think he's number six and I think that's I, I feel comfortable saying he's the sixth best receiver in the NFL. Um, my number six is Tyreek Hill. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, no, I don't really like him, but he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I piece uh, of shit, but good. I uh, now that hearing that Ocho Cinco backed up Devonte Adams so much. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, that really changes it for me. Yeah, I, I knew it would. That's why I had to drop the name. But I did make the hot take. Um, <laughs> That Devontae was in the top ten last week. You did say that, yeah. Even though I probably disagree with it, I got to stick with my take. <laughs> you got to stick with the take. You guys gave me shit for it for like 30 minutes of last Commit- episode. That's because you made a list and he was in your top ten, so you knew you were wrong. Yeah, commit to the take. I committed to it. Okay, so I'm going completely healthy here. AJ Green. Baby. Okay. I'd be too worried to get hurt in that game. Yeah, I mean, that's why just, he didn't make my list I'm, at all. I, that's, that's why I said it. I said injury free. We're not counting injuries here. Okay. I'm still taking AJ Green number six. Maybe I'm a Bengals homer. And because because I'm in a dynasty uh, and age is a factor and injuries are a factor, I could not have AJ in my top ten. But if you too, weren't. <laughs> if those things weren't true. That would be a weird but, fantasy league. Yeah, injuries but, don't matter. He'll play through it. And like, also, wait, I mean. Not saying fantasy. Just like just do like receiver. Most talented so in a, receiver. Yeah. In a game of Madden where. I'm, I'm just saying best receiver. That's all I'm Injuries are off? I'm not going. All right. I'm not going like. Uh, I'm going best receiver. Injuries don't matter. Okay. 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 So Facts don't matter. In yours, they have to make it through the game. Yeah, and yours and yours it does matter a bit. Yeah, so du- like durability is a little bit more. a little bit. Um, and then we're now I think we're in like the real big boys. Yep, number I th- five. I think we made it into the real big boy Top territory. Half? Uh, yep, number five. I have OBJ. All right, I got um, him. I got him on my list somewhere. 
I probably would have had OBJ second or third a year ago. Um, I need to see it again a little bit from him. He's just he's been good, not great. Um, I mean, he was saddled with Eli last year, so I understand you have to give him a little bit of a pass, but it's it's more of an indication of how much the other four guys on this list are incredible because OBJ is still awesome. Uh, but I just, yeah, I don't think I can put him ahead of anyone one through four on my list, so this is where he settles in for me. All right, number five for me is Julio. Um, I like him a lot, but... Um, yeah, I don't want to. Do, I'm not saying anything negative. He's just. <laughs> I he's, think these four people are better. Is, I don't. This is where this is where we are. This yeah. is we've reached the point where there's nothing. I don't have a critique of anyone. <laughs> no, there's no critiques here. It's I, just who's better. But once I think once we get to the top, perhaps we'll be able to critique like as we like. We'll, we'll, we'll critique we'll, each other's number we'll, ones. We'll I'm get sure. there for sure because yeah, we've had we've had. I'm sure we'll have some significant differences to come here still. Mm-hmm. Um, John, you maybe. Uh, I'm going to go with injury-free and um, drama-free. I'm going to go with, if that doesn't exist, I'm going with Antonio Brown. Okay. That's super fair. Um, He's on my list. Despite despite everything, AB is still number four on my list. All right. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Um, you know what? I'll just reveal it right now. I did Odell four, so we, we uh, are just, very we just, close we just again. There, yeah. <laughs> we just did a quick flip flop. I, I, I think that AB, if, if, if it's... Still there is like the could could be the best receiver in the league for like another three years. Like pair him up with Tom Brady, man. That's scary. Yeah, it's very scary. I put him at five. Cause I'm just not sure. I love because I, I think Brady is going to play for a few more years now that he has a toy like that. Like I just I think they're going to kill it. And, and basically, when I look at like trying to win, I look at a three year window, and and I think that they have that. So yeah, Antonio Brown. We'll see again. Not has not had a great off season, and for a couple no. of weeks here, he has not. Uh, you had got, good game one. I say we, we could we could recap AB ad nauseum, but I think everyone's very familiar with his saga this off season. No, um, tell me more. Tell me all about it. But yeah, I, I think week one a bit with like one practice, uh, he already ripped off like sixty yards and a touchdown. Like I, I, I think they're going to be just fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, AB my number four. My number four is Devonte Adams. Okay. So yeah, suck it, Johnny. <laughs> I had to leave him off the list, man. I made a hot take. Who, who's your number? Who'd you stick... say your number four is? OBJ. OBJ. Yeah. All right. We already went through that. So. All right. Uh, number three. Up to number three. This is where I have Michael Thomas. All right. Uh, I have Michael Thomas as the third best receiver in the NFL. Uh, because... No, you, yours is fantasy related. Oh well, yeah, yeah. But I also think. Are you the... sure you weren't copying my I, list? I also think he's the third best receiver. In yes, the NFL. I have. I have Michael. <laughs> I got Michael Thomas there as well. Um, I have. Uh, he's so fucking good. Yeah. Michael Thomas is just one of those guys where, like, I like in the off season, like, I'm like, yeah, Michael Thomas is great. He's really good. And then, like, the season comes around and I watch a Saints game and I'm like, dude, Michael Thomas is incredible. Like, yeah. You can't, like, I, I know his Twitter handles can't guard Mike, but, like, it's true. You can't. You cannot guard him. Like, he will get open. He will find a way to beat whatever coverage you're using. And, like, I can't think of any higher praise. And he has really good hands. Uh, and he's. You know, young and was attached to Drew Brees until uh, <laughs> oof. maybe maybe he can prop Teddy Bridgewater up for the next six weeks. But yeah, Teddy's, but, Teddy's getting a shot. It's good to see that for sure. And I I, I think Michael Might Thomas. Job. I think Michael Thomas will still put up decent numbers with Teddy Bridgewater. So I don't, you know I think he's sort of quarterback independent almost at this point. But uh, yeah, my number three receiver. My number three is OBJ. I Go still ahead. believe um, kind of what you said. I think he got. Screwed over last year, having to play with Eli for a full season. And That's rough. I hope. Uh, I think. I think it's not been the greatest start, but I think it'll get better as we go down the road. There's too many weapons. Uh, I think having Jarvis as a number two, and uh, and Joku's looked pretty good. Like I think. I think having those two guys, and hopefully Be- um, Beckham, hopefully Baker figures it out. And um, I mean, they won pretty handily tonight, so. I hope things just continue to look good, and uh, yeah, I think it's a, a really good number one to have. So mm-hmm. you're 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 of the opinion that week one was an aberration, kind of at yeah, this point. Like, whatever. That's usually the case when the, when week one matchups don't make sense. It's usually because they don't make sense. Yeah. You know, like it would not very often is it like when Jacksonville was actually good a couple of years ago. You know, or like yeah. Most of the time, weird stuff early is just weird stuff early. Like, mm-hmm. that doesn't, it happens. So. 
I, I, I also got Michael Thomas at number three. I think there's two left that we're both going to have. For sure. I think it just depends on who puts who where here. For sure. Well, I already know. So for that reason, I think we should not go. I think we should have Gonzo start right. with number two. Okay. And I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you do your number two first because I've sniped you so many times. So <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let you go with your number two first. So Gonzo, give number us Number two, I have A.B. Okay. Um, I, still, I still think there's too much potential there. I think he's too talented on field. Uh, off-field stuff is whatever. I mean, but for one game, give me fucking A.B. You can make a play in the end. Yeah, like, I like, can't argue with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I got these two guys, like, neck and neck. All right, uh, what do you got at number two? I think I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go, I got Julio at number two. Okay. All right. Okay. Julio Jones, number two. Um. My number two is DeAndre Hopkins. All right, so we we all right we did it. I, I, I actually changed it the last second. <laughs> you called it audible. I called it audible. I uh, like an it. audible. <laughs> I could it. I could it audible. Audible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, my number two. It's yeah. Nuke's my number one. I I just don't think there's anyone better at getting the football. Um, who who is Nuke? DeAndre Hopkins' nickname is Nuke. You I don't. Did you didn't put Julio on the list? Did you? No, yeah, no, no like, Julio's number five. Yeah. Yeah, them down away. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, but I just the, Nuke, Nuke can dink and dunk you all the way up the field and just take brutal hits, and he just keeps going, and he just like man, he's just such a durable, and he's just yeah. strong, and he's a fucking muscle hamster. I, I, man, dude is just too talented. Like he's amazing. If he's he a was, freak. if he was like six one, he'd be the best wide receiver ever. Man, probably like. It's yeah. it's insane how good he is. Yeah, I think I think that Julio and Nuke are in their own tier. Um, yes, I agree. That's why I couldn't decide which yep. one. I I think that they are one and two, uh, and then I then 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 there's kind of a tear break for me. Like Michael Thomas, A B O B J. Like that's like the second tier, and then six through eight is probably the same tier. Um, and then I think for me, like like T Y Hilton is like. He's like the first guy in that group that he's like great, but he's not like I don't know like he's not I don't he doesn't like scream like Hall of Famer necessarily, but like Johnny, could you give us Madden's ratings for wide receiver? I did you want me to write them down? I don't have them. I thought you said you did. I, Madden's still open over there. I don't know if Trey was trying Can you to play. See it? <laughs> you want me to go over there and write down Madden ratings? No. Yeah, I'll get I thought there. you already did. I was just curious. About I Madden did not. Ratings. I just used it to jot down receivers that I liked. That's fair. But yeah, for me, like Julio and DeAndre Hopkins, I, I, you, I can't, I can't get that sauced up about the order. I guess um, they're just, yeah, they're both incredible. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. All right, I got a list. So why don't you give me top five? I want top ten. You goddamn idiot. Top ten what? Man, I want. I'm getting the Madden rating. Rating, so we can just oh. see. I want to see Madden's top ten. See how, oh. see how they those compare to ours. This is. Did we have like the same thing except swapped a few? Actually, I took out Devonte and replaced it with AJ Green. That was our big yep, difference. Yep, and I didn't have AJ Green. I had Chris Godwin. Ah, yes, that, that was that was the, those. Ah, guys. yes, ah, yes, that <laughs> is correct. We each had we each had add, but uh, and then otherwise, I don't think we had people more than one slot different from each other either. Yeah. Okay, do you guys want to hear the list? <laughs> yeah, it is DeAndre Hopkins. All right. Okay. Julio Jones. Okay. Uh, AB. All right. Uh, OBJ. Interesting. Michael Thomas. Okay. Devontae Adams. Okay. Who's tied with Tyreek Hill. Interesting. Uh, Stefan Diggs. Okay. Who is also tied with Adam Thielen. Interesting. Of course. Of course. Uh, Keenan Allen. Okay. Um... I don't know how uh, Mike Evans, who no one mentioned. I was gonna say, not a single one of us had Mike Evans on our list. He was he was like eleven for me. T. Y. Was, Hilton. I think Juju was eleven for me. Yeah. I think Juju was my guy that just didn't make the cut. But yeah, Mike Evans is he's got to be top twelve, right? I mean, yeah. Mike Evans is pretty good. He lost his job. I, he's, he's still good. I think he's in the bracket with. Um, with T.Y. Hilton and Juju as right on the edge there. Yeah, you could make a case for him in the top nine. And Thielen for me since I didn't have him on my top ten. Yeah, Thielen did not make your top ten. It's interesting. Yeah, so... Uh, so Madden, Madden wasn't really that, that was, hot. Yeah, Evans, Evans was 11. Uh, uh, T.Y. Hilton was uh, 12. A.J. Green, 13. Okay, okay. Where, Austin, not Austin. Uh, where, uh, where was uh, Cole Beasley? 
Um, so he had to be like 15, right? Cole well, Beasley had to I be. I don't see him on here. Dude, Cole Beasley, Cole but, Beasley had to be top Julian 20. Julian Edelman is. Julian Edelman. It goes oh, uh, Amari him. Cooper, Julian Edelman. I fucking hate Julian Edelman. They're yeah, actually tied. Me too. I don't know Which why. Are, Emmanuel Sanders, him. Juju, Brandon Cooks. Uh, Alshon, Tyler Lockett, Robert Woods. So I think that we, yeah. I think we pretty definitively proved though that Amari Cooper is not even in that conversation. Because when you said him, I was like, huh. Yeah. Like, what, la- last week, not far down. What's that? Colby, oh, Cole Beasley and uh, Kenny Stills are in like right next. Same, to same company. Yeah. Nice, nice. But yeah, I don't. I mean, Amari Cooper's fine, but I don't. I don't know. He's not like maybe fifteen. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's going to, like, take over, like, for you in, like, a big spot. I, I don't see it. I think he's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's in that, like, good, not great kind of tier. Yeah, he's. I think he's really good, just not one of the elite guys. And I, with everything with Dallas, I never know, like, how good would they be if they didn't have their their line in Zeke. But you can't do that because that's their entire team. So, like, it's not fair. But you can only judge them based on what you see. Yeah. And that's what we try to do here on Jabroni Sports. And Man. that's what I do. That Cowboys offensive line. Gee whiz. It is the real deal. Yeah, that's why I got the Cowboys going to the NFC Championship game. That's Amen, the real brother. deal, man. That's the real deal. That's what I'm saying. Wow. All right. Those, All those, right. Those, those were mostly words. I Johnny, think. I was asking you earlier, would you would you like to make one fantasy? Fantasy. Uh, one pick I have pick? many fantasies. Okay, yep. what's the pick em pick? You, it's on you. I asked you to do it. All right. So, Johnny. Give me yeah. a give me a give me give me a pick here. Uh, let me find the game that's the most even. Uh, Ooh, we're gonna challenge. I used Johnny? to be. I I won the last time I did a pick 'em league. I okay. only did it once and I won it. All right, Please. riddle me this. Okay. Thir- this is perfect too, pertinent for our audi- our audience perhaps. Thursday night, the Titans are at Jacksonville. The one and one Titans head to Jacksonville to take on the zero and two Jaguars. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Let me... What's the spread? The Titans are a one-and-a-half-point favorite. Where's mm-hmm. that? It is in Jacksonville. Hmm. Not that Jacksonville's home field advantage matters at all. Mm. Or does it? No, it, no, no, it, does, no. No, it doesn't. There's, there's <laughs> nobody there. Or does it? <laughs> no. Man, this is a tough one, but I'm going to go with the Jags. Okay. Interesting, and then there, there's one other. Give me, I'll, I'll give you two. You gotta go two for two here. Okay. All right. Otherwise, I'll give him three. We gotta have a round number. Got it. A round number? Yeah. Three. <laughs> three is a nice round number. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, well, this is just the other one where it's even, so that's why I'm doing this one. Uh, Falcons at Colts. Hmm. Both teams are hmm. one. And, both teams are one and one. You know, uh, I think the Falcons always have random games where they like look really good. I'm gonna go with the Falcons on this one. You think this is? A I Falcons? think this is. Yeah, this is Random, a Falcons game. They randomly look good. This is one of those times that they're gonna randomly look good. I mean, it is in a dome, so Matt Ryan will at least feel kind of comfortable. He won't have to worry about weather. <laughs> oh, won't, won't get the chills. <laughs> oh, weather is so scary to Matt Ryan. He hates it. You get him outside, and he's just, oh boy, not for me. No thanks. Get him. Give me my long sleeve shirt, and away we go. AJ, hey. AJ I think we should do a fantasy pickup of the week. Uh, a hot waiver claim guy? A hot waiver claim. We could do that. We could do that. Uh, mine's pretty easy. Who Chris you... Godwin. No, not Chris Godwin. <laughs> I'm, mine's a way Wait, aren't we all going to do pick and then who wins? We should do no, that next week. Uh, we shall do a pick and then... We'll, we'll do that. I like that. We'll do... We're, we're, I'm sorry that we're doing show prep on the air here <laughs> today, guys, but I, I think, yeah, I like we're that. We're getting idea. them excited for next week. Yeah. Big whoop. Want to play the brothers? Yeah, next week we'll start doing a pick Uh We'll keep... We'll, we'll even keep track as we throughout the season. Yeah. Pick. We'll pick... We can each pick three games. So we'll do that. What do you mean? We pick our we pick the three we pick, right? Yeah. Alright. Exactly. Do um, we get extra points if it's gonna be a harder game? Yeah, if you pick an upset, it's worth two. I'll I'll I'll, I'll I'll allow that. I'm just going to pick only upsets. Then. <laughs> upsets only, baby. I upsets mean, only, baby. If you don't win any of them, though, you look kind of like a dingus. I'm going to win. I am a pick em champ. Okay. Pick em, pick em, pick em, pick em, pick em, pick em. Pick em. But uh, yeah, who's, your, who's your hot waiver claim of the week, Gonzo? Um, there's, a, there's a few guys. I mean, in our league, it's a little different. Um, but, you know, Demarcus Robinson's yeah. definitely got to be on top of a lot of people's lists. That's the correct, um, that's the correct answer. Although my sneaky, if it's a redraft, I think you might you know, want to grab Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Frank Gore, perhaps. Wow. Yeah, an uptick in value if he's still available in your leagues. Um, um, I, I agree, though. Demarcus Robinson uh, coming off a preposterous 
six catch, hey. 172 yard, two touchdown performance. Also, this is this is my sleeper though. Country music superstar Jeff Wilson, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Wilson Jr. Jeff Wilson Jr. If you guys saw Raheem Mostert take yeah, it to but, the house twice against the Bengals this past weekend, don't worry because if he gets hurt. Jeff Wilson Jr. is ready to no, take his place. Jeff Wilson Jr. had two touchdowns. Did he also have? Oh my God! Oh, he had no, so many I'm touchdowns. Pretty, I'm pretty sure Mostert only had one. Oh, I thought he. I thought he caught two. There's a lot of points scored might, on the Bengals that day, so no, it might be two and two. Jeff Jeff Wilson Jr. is their goal line back. Okay, so he's the, so he just vultured two touchdowns. So he's the bruiser. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. I, yeah, Mostert only had one touchdown. Yeah. He had 151 all-purpose yards and a touchdown. Jeff Wilson Jr. had 10 carries for 34 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, Matt Breida had 12 carries for 121 yards so, as well. just get a running back who's playing the Bengals. <laughs> there you go. Just pick up any running back playing the Bengals that week. And enjoy- That's John Hicks' fancy. And, and, yeah, and, send, and then send us some of your winnings because, yeah, you're going to destroy it this year. Um, oh, man. Yeah, for me, I mean, Demarcus Robinson is, is the is the most obvious one. Um, I could I could I don't know try to get a little cute or something, but nobody else is really nobody else is really popped. Um, I don't want to give too much away either. I mean, me and you know, me and Andrew are in the same league. You don't so. want to give up freebies. Um, the, the only other one that I would say is might maybe worth a look is uh, Devin Smith, uh, wide receiver for the Cowboys, who had three grabs for seventy four yards and a touchdown. Michael, I mean, Michael Gallup had meniscus surgery and is hey, slated to miss two to four weeks. Let's let's go with like in redraft leagues. Like if you're looking for a quarterback, like Teddy Bridgewater is probably a guy that's out there. Like Mason Rudolph is now is now available in, in every league, mostly. Well, not anymore. Uh, if your leagues if your leagues like that, uh, he may have been rostered already at this point. But uh, for what it's worth, if you, especially if you're a Juju owner, maybe you're buying some buying some post uh, post type stock here. Those might be some good targets. I mean, I'm just pulling up now in because I'm in. I'm an absolute junkie, and I am in three different leagues. But um, let's there's there's some real heat on this wire. If I can get it to add, pull up. Um, like, all right, hold on. I gotta get rid of this. This is riveting. Guys. Riveting. Mm-hmm. This is radio. fucking edge of their, edge of my seat entertainment. All right. Um. Damn. This only shows... This Stop is, using this, the NFL website for your fantasy leagues. Stop. It's the worst. It's the only redraft league I'm in, but it's the worst. Gross. But Terry McLaren is out there, for, I'm sure, in a lot of different leagues. I would... Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be, but yeah, you're right, probably. Um, Chris Thompson might get a lot, get some burn coming up with AP going, uh, being 48 years old. <laughs> and uh, Darius Geis missing the rest of life. So promising. I mean, John Ross still available in quite a few leagues. Shouldn't be. John Ross is still available in, available in your league. Get better league mates, okay? I'm trying. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't, <laughs> I can't roster him. I've tried. I'm trying to yeah. find room. I just don't have room. But that's it. I mean, next week I'll be a little bit more prepared. We just wanted to try it. Um, you're at the end of the podcast, so you expect top bullshit at this point. Yeah. In, in time. Um, what position? What position are we going to talk about next week? Who's our, who's our, we, what's our third? Johnny, I think we got to go fullback. No, we're not doing fullback. Come on. Here. I mean, we can only do quarterback and running back, really. Are we going to name, like, the best no. left tackles no. or it's something? Just, it's just Maybe tight point. ends, because there might be yeah. wild differences towards the back end. The Dude, top will be the same. The but top, we'll all be Kelsey, and then I don't know where Kelsey, anyone goes. Kelsey, Kittle, Ertz, yeah. some order for me, but... Yeah, probably similar. Yeah. I mean, you know, might have Evan Ingram in there, but... Tight ends would just be the back end would be different. But yeah, quarterback or running back, basically. All right, I'm in. Johnny? Yeah, for, for sure. Can we so do an episode of Kick Returners? No, absolutely not. Come on, top ten kick returners. Who oh. returns kicks anymore? Yeah. You see, Tyree like, Kill. you see, AB. if you're lucky, one a game. It would have to be all time, because currently it would be lame, because there's probably not even ten kick returns every week. Yeah, I guess you're right. Punt no, returners, there is maybe. ten kick returns. What do you mean? There's probably, I don't know. But every game not. has two at least. I know. It's, I mean, but yeah, but no, they go in the end zone. There's, there's, there's Nobody something. returns oh, them anymore. Yeah, yeah. Nobody returns them we anymore. We can just say return yards and just punt or kick. Yeah. Or not yards. I don't Retur- say return words. men. Return men. These are the return men. Johnny, what are you drawing over there? A new logo? Nah, I'm drawing something on fire and then... Oh, jeez. Did, cool, did you make the cool guy us? 
Oh yeah, of course. But this Sweet. cool guy S is on. It's on fire. Look at that. Ooh. It's one of those cool guy S. Dude, we have to guy for Dude, the amount of, of visual cues that we've used on a podcast today is absolutely ridiculous. We bust, man. We got, we have to get out of here before we do any more damage. Thank you, boys. It's been a good one. For our guest from the first segment, Trey Montuano, I am AJ Firstenau. I'm at It's Your Boy Gonzo. At G Baby LaFlair. And also check out on Google, GB <laughs> Pack TV. Did that's, I get it right? Yeah, that's you can find um, it on Google. Google it, GB Pack TV. Follow, follow him on Google. Thank or you on guys, YouTube. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, stay tuned. Next week we will have a uh, week three recap, and uh, we'll, we'll dive into some more positional rankings. Right. right. Let's do it. Peace. Peace.